welcome back to another breaking news of Motoganda. So again another video than the original promised one. Because today in the morning there was a plane crash over here. And while I'm checking if I find the crash site, um, let's talk about what happened here. Uh, okay, can go over here already. Okay, I can go here. All right. So first detour I have to take, most probably quite close to the crash site. But anyway, what happened officially? There was a plane and after takeoff it took a weird turn, let's say. Most probably some technical problems or anything. And I will actually either link the video or put the video up there as well. And five people died basically. So obviously now everyone is crying like five people died, that's sad. Alright, but we should have a closer look who those people were. Um, according to the media, what I read was a French border control mission heading for Libya from Malta and I mean I'm not the expert when it comes to geography but as far as I know France neither borders Malta nor does it border and I can go here neither um, nor does it border Libya. So that's the first weird thing there. I mean, border control should be always at the border. But let's get to that point a bit later. Of course, actually they were not French border control. And what they wanted officially to do on their border control mission well they wanted to monitor uh, do some surveillance on drug trafficking and human trafficking um, again there I find it weird why they were heading for Libya then I mean okay there is yes there is a uh, drug and human trafficking going on in that area but if you have a plane you don't have to land somewhere if you want just to do carry out some surveillance you just fly over the area and turn back from where you came from but okay that might be explainable since it was a small plane maybe there wasn't it cannot store enough fuel to fly close to the Libyan border and back so that might make some sense I don't know I didn't check it out but let's get back to the officially named French border control people of course if you do some more research and actually don't really need to do much research and I'm wrong again I guess um, yeah looks like but anyway let's see so if you do some research there you will quickly find out that those people were actually not from the French border control but we're rather from an organization called Frontex. So what basically is Frontex? Well, you will find three different definitions of what Frontex is. So, since we have time I guess, let's go through all of them. The first one 
is what do the media tell the people what Frontex is? Well, they basically say it's uh, in the Mediterranean area, it's some search and rescue team which looks after drowning boats from refugees and I guess non-refugees as well, but anyway. So looking after drowning people and rescuing them, basically. Sounds nice, huh? Nice people, rescuing people. But unfortunately, that's just what the media tells everyone. So let's go for the second definition, which is at least the official one. Which is already strange that what the media tells you differs already from the official definition, isn't it? So what does the official definition say? It says that I'm getting closer to the probable crash site and it seems like this is as close as I get. Won't get any closer unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so sorry for that. I can't really get any closer and I'm not sure if it might be kind of criminal offense or something if I just run through that barrier. So what I will try instead is getting to the other side of the airport and Maybe I can see across the runway something closer. But in the meantime, let's continue with the definitions. So, the official definition says it's the European border control. Sounds already slightly different to a search and rescue team of course normally border patrols are not search and rescue and well so basically they defend the European border and are armed so actually you could call them kind of a European army and that's the issue already of course, officially, there is no European army. Of course, Europe basically consists of sovereign states, which then obviously have their sovereign armies. And supposedly should have their sovereign border control agencies as well. And that's already quite close to the third definition which is not really an official definition but you will find it in alternative media and in my opinion that is the closest to reality because it basically says that Frontex is the unofficial and illegal basically yet still illegal European army which they fight over here pretty much to become the legal European army and why do I think it is like that well they're armed as an army they're acting as an army they even got punished already twice for violating human rights. That doesn't look like mu much anymore like a, a search and rescue team, which, well, the media definition for it is. But pretty much looks more like an unofficial army. Okay, now you might have the argument in a civilized country or a civilized region like Europe. There is nothing like a 
illegal or unofficial or undercover armies or something like that. Um, well, just do a bit of research about Operation Gladio, which was carried out in Europe by an illegal and unofficial army. So, unfortunately, even if one might think that illegal, unofficial armies are just a thing of like third world countries or so. Um, no, it's actually a tool which gets used in Europe quite a lot. Slowly we are getting closer to the other side of the airport. Or basically we reached it already. Just have to go down the runway and see if we can see anything there. But in the meantime, let me tell you how I would rather define today's crash. I mean, just to remind you, the official definition was, well, a plane took off and five people died, unfortunately. And everyone should be sad and crying and so on. But here comes my definition. Well, since they were part, the people who died were part of an illegal army, just remember what we used to call illegal armies or illegal armed forces in other countries. And as far as I remember, we used to call them terrorist groups. And if I continuously remember correctly, members of such groups are basically called terrorists. So, to sum it up a bit, I would rather say what happened here was, okay, a plane took off, and crashed after the takeoff on board five terrorists which died and I'm not sad about it or to phrase it even easier would any of you cry about I don't know let's say if there would be five mafia people on board or five uh, ISIS people on board, or five Al-Qaeda, or whatever else so-called bad people or terrorists we have, if they would have been on board, would it be the same outcry? I doubt it. And for me personally, Frontex is not a legitimate army or um, border control agency or anything. But it's just an illegal army, which I personally would call terrorist organization. But anyway, we reached the other side of the runway. And I'm trying to spot something. Actually, maybe I see more if I go more up there. But so far, the crash site should be somewhere over there where there is the the buildings like left of the buildings next to the tree somewhere it should be but well unfortunately it doesn't look like you could see much from here well sorry for not being able to show you any closer footage but well, seems to be pretty impossible, pretty much closed down the area. Well, it was already this morning and now it's like early evening already. So obviously they closed it down by now. Well, I hope you liked the video and if you did so, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
and if you didn't subscribe yet well it's really about time and well don't forget to follow me as well on Facebook and Twitter and even Instagram I have now and well if you have any comments obviously just leave them below I will reply and I see you in the next video